We start tonight with this report from our political correspondent, Kirsten Campbell. The army's already helping to fight the coronavirus in Scotland. They've been working on the front line, setting up vaccination centres across the country. Another 80 personnel are now being deployed to help administer jabs. It follows an offer of support from the UK government to improve vaccination rates. No, thank you for what you're doing. This is a collective endeavour. Uh, we're all in this together. Um, and therefore, what we want to do is to help the Scottish government uh, to make sure that the numbers being vaccinated in Scotland can match the, the numbers that are being vaccinated elsewhere in the United Kingdom. The latest figures show Scotland is beginning to catch up, but it is still behind. 14% of over 16-year-olds have been vaccinated here. In Wales, that figure is almost 18%, while 19% of the population has been given the jag in England. At Holyrood, the First Minister faced questions about whether there's a postcode lottery. Our vaccine rollout is much slower than England, Wales and Northern Ireland. The First Minister quite rightly says it's not a competition between nations. But I have to say to her, it is a race against the virus and we are not going fast enough. The Scottish Conservatives urged Nicola Sturgeon to take the help on offer. Will she accept further military assistance? Any help that the armed forces give to uh, Scotland, whether it's on vaccines, whether, as in an earlier stage, it was on PPE or the logistics associated with setting up the NHS Louisa Jordan, it's not a favour from the Secretary of State for Scotland. It's our armed forces that the people of Scotland pay for through their taxes. Army medics will begin work in Scotland tomorrow. The offer of help from Westminster can be viewed as a gesture of support or political point scoring, depending on your view. The public just want to know when they'll be vaccinated. The Scottish Government says the programme is now picking up pace. Kirsten Campbell, Reporting Scotland, Holyrood.